Hey, with the upcoming update, the fire staff will be viable, and I have a mage help myself. I was just using it for scarab runs, but I was thinking, why not get some gear and prepare for mutations? That way I can do 50 mutations a week instead of 25. I stumbled across this very interesting ring. It's really good for a fresh 60, and even once you reach 600 expertise and upgrade it to legendary, it's pretty solid. Getting this ring requires some steps though. This isn't your regular name mob farm where you kill a boss, wait 5 minutes, and repeat. So let's go over the requirements. In order to summon this, you or a friend needs to be on the quest Shivering Timbers. This is part of a quest chain called Expanding Tret. In this quest line, you also need 15 water and 12 travel rations. So it's time to go broke. I also recommend having luck gear and PvP on once you reach the final quest. Because luck does increase the chance of named items to drop. You can start the expanding threat quest line at the Reekwater Town Hall. Once accepted, you will have to go northeast of Reekwater and read three lore pages. Double check if you have the water and travel rations on you, because you will be needing those soon. After that's done, proceed to go north. You can skip all the mobs because the NPC you will talk to is on a platform and the mobs will not be able to reach you. We can instantly complete the next quest if you brought your water and travel rations. Now you have to go south to the previous location and destroy 8 banners. AGS only placed down 7 banners, so you will have to wait for a spawn cycle to complete. After that, go back to the NPC north and deliver the quest. Now recall to your inn or house. This will be a good opportunity to enable PvP and wear your luck gear. We are now on the correct quest, Shivering Timbers. We have to go southwest of Reekwater, loot a chest and you will get an explosive barrel. Place down the barrel and defeat the waves of enemies. Once that's done, go south. If you are a little worried about the boss, you could place down a camp if you want. Go further south to the point of interest. Do the exact same as the previous quest step. Loot a chest for a barrel and place it down. When you place the barrel, you will start another event sequence. This one has the boss at the end that drops the ring. The boss is a lost pirate brute. It has a very predictable attack pattern, so he's not difficult to defeat. I would say your average Brimstone Sands boss is more difficult. If you didn't get the ring first try, don't worry. You can place down the barrel again after 10 seconds. And you can keep on trying. Just know, once you deliver and complete the quest, you will never be able to place down the barrel ever again on this character. And that means that you won't be able to start the event sequence to spawn the boss. And that's basically it. I hope you get your ring fast. I got mine pretty fast. It also helps that time goes by a lot faster because you're always fighting and you're force spawning the boss. Instead of waiting 5 minutes for it to spawn like your average boss farm. I think AGS should make this into an encounter, kind of like the encounter some Monarch's Bluff, where the ship goes to the shore and the other one where you have to protect the farm from waves of mobs. But enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I would truly appreciate it if you could click that subscribe button, like and leave a comment for the algorithm, because I put so much effort into every single video I release for you guys. You have a wonderful day, and as always, later.